Hi guys, I hope you're well and welcome back and hello if you are new. I am the Budgeting Wing Woman and today I am doing a mini cash condensing plus I also have some happy mail to share with you, some new binders to share with you which is super super exciting and some new challenges. So if you want to see all of that then just continue to watch. Well, how have we all been? It has been a manic, manic week here. You would have probably seen, I have been blasting out videos that I have accumulated, not your get out to you guys and all stuff like that. So I hope you've been enjoying the content and thank you so much to all of you guys that have subscribed. It actually means the world to me. I can't believe how many of you guys have come on over and I'm just so excited to have you all on this journey with me. It really does mean the world to me. So, where do we start? I think we'll start with my new products that I've got to share with you. So my new challenges, my happy mail and all stuff like that. So first of all, I wanted to share this. So for anybody that doesn't know, my Etsy shop is now live with you guys. So I have listed on there my envelopes that I sell and also my challenges that I sell. But this is currently my freebie of the month challenge. After this month, it will be going on sale. But if you purchase any items from my shop this month, you will actually get this gorgeous Valentine's challenge, which I think is so, so sweet. So you don't even need to have a Valentine's challenge. You can be doing something with your friends, which me and the girls are planning to do like a night in with some pajamas and stuff like that. So this is the perfect challenge for us. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was going to say I normally do do ten, but some of them have a little bit more. So there's ten icons on here. So I think I'm going to have these at like two pound fifty or two pound or three pounds each, just so I can save up some for, for some pajamas and dibs in on a takeaway for me and the girls. Um, but I'm really excited to get stuffing that one. We're actually doing Valentine's a little bit later than Valentine's Day, just because we're meeting up. But this is a new challenge that you'll get as a freebie if you purchase anything from my store. And I also have a huge 20% off at the moment as well. So if you head on over to my Etsy store, which will be linked down in the description box, you can go and check out everything that I've got over there, but you can get some huge savings. So that's that challenge that I wanted to show you. And then I also picked up these from Cash But Cute. I am obsessed with Cash But Cute stuff. I have basically been bombarding her with messages on both Instagram and YouTube, asking her when her shop was going to open because I missed out before Christmas. I went to go and order, didn't realize she was going to shut her shop and she did, so I missed out on her products. So she was doing these bundles and I managed to get my hands on them and I'm not gonna lie, they are stunning. I've opened them already and I've popped them back in just because her packaging is obviously to die for just as much as her products are. But the first one we have is her freebie of the month. This one here is the Got The Hump Challenge. I think it's really, really cute. I think I'm actually gonna have this one in my savings challenge for like my self care. Um, and I think I'm gonna allocate it towards that. So when I've got the hump, I can give myself some money <laughs> and buy myself something nice. I think that one will work really, really well for that one. So I love that. And then we have the Cash But Cute Winter Savings Challenge. I am obsessed with this one, I love it. I do wanna get my hands on the January Blues as well, but I'll try and get that one maybe next year. And they're all laminated as well. So this one, you can literally add in how much you wanna save for each one. Then, oh my God, look, she just does so amazing. So this one is Candy Cottage. This one is dual toned, I love it. Each piece of candy saves a pound, total saved at 20 pounds. So you can bet your right arm, this one's gonna be going in my Christmas binder. Then we have the 10 pound challenge. And I'm actually quite excited for this because I don't have a 10 pound challenge. I have a five pound challenge, but not a 10 pound one. So I'm definitely gonna incorporate that one. Maybe once I've done my 100 envelope, or I'm not quite sure. How many are there? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Oh my God, 32, <laughs> 36, 40. 40 pounds, oh my God, it says it there, 400, <laughs> 400. Okay, so there's 40 and there's 400. So I could look at potentially doing this and then maybe moving this into my 100 envelope challenge and get that done a bit quicker. We'll see. I might have other plans for it. Then we have this one, cute dough bakery savings challenge. You've got the cross on, the Swiss roll, cinnamon swirl, custard tart. I mean, it's just gorgeous. This one saves 30 pounds and I definitely needed some smaller ones. So I'm so excited for this. 
And then on top of that, we have this one. I think this is one of my favorites as well. Cute Chinese takeaway. Every single week we have one takeaway. Generally, nine times out of 10, it's a Chinese takeaway. So I'm so excited for this one. This one saves 60 pounds. So I might save this one. I don't know what for, like maybe like our eating out one. Um, not quite sure, but I love that again. And then we have Cash But Cute's Anniversary Savings Challenge. This one, again, you can add up how much each icon equals. And we are actually saving up for our 10 year anniversary. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that that's something that we're working on for a couple of years time. So I think what I'm actually going to do is divvy these up and actually make these a little bit smaller. And maybe like each little tiny part of it is gonna come to something, or I might do the whole lot. I'm not quite sure, but we're gonna work on this one as well. So thank you so, so much for these. They are absolutely stunning. Do go check out her shop. I will leave it linked in the description box below as well. Okay, so something new that I actually wanted to introduce into my channel. Let me know if you are into manifesting, if you are into gratitude, if you are into all that sort of stuff, because I am, I've loved it for years. And um, I really believe that manifesting has helped me achieve so many things in my life. And there's no reason why it can't continue to do the same and it can't really help you guys either. So what I've actually decided to do is at the beginning of each of my videos, do a card poll. So I don't know whether this is something you're into. You'll have to let me know in the comments box below if this is something you like the idea of or maybe it's not. Um, but yeah, let me know if this is something you think would work for you. I'm gonna do a card poll and then essentially choose something that you could use as a super attractor card for the day. So I'm gonna pick this one. So this one says, wanting more for others puts me into an energy of abundance. And I think this one's amazing, like how the cash stuffing community on YouTube and Instagram and everywhere else is, they're all so supportive of each other. And essentially we all want abundance. So this is amazing. We all want better for each other and better for ourselves. And we all inspire each other and we all support each other. And I absolutely love that. So I think that one is absolutely amazing. And I'm really, really happy with that card poll. But let me know in the description if you like this, if you relate to this one, if it's something that you're gonna think a bit more about. I love practicing gratitude. And I think that's really, really important as well. Okay, so before we jump into the cash condensing, I'm gonna share with you the new binders that I picked up and I'm a tad bit obsessed. So first one that I picked up is this one here. It is stunning. The quality on it is amazing. It has a popper, which I was struggling with my other ones that just had like a magnetic bit because they kept opening now they're getting fuller. And as you can see, the insides are just stunning. I do wanna get some pieces to decorate these internally. I think it'll look amazing, but it comes with these gorgeous gold rings. And obviously I've got all of my wallets in there and it's got a zip compartment here, which again, I think is amazing. It is just stunning. So I got it in the black and then I also picked it up in this gorgeous taupe color. I mean, I am obsessed with this one. As you can see, this one's got a lot more envelopes in there because this is my low priority binder. But again, it has the gorgeous same material and then a lovely zip, same coloring. This one is just stunning. So following on from that, I also got it in the white because why wouldn't I? And again, gorgeous. This one's got all my Christmas ones in it. Again, the zip compartment here. So these ones are all A6 binders. And then I also got this one here, which is another A6 one, but this one is very different and I am obsessed. I have not seen this anywhere. Um, I've got one very, very similar, which is like this sort of style, but I've not seen anything like this. And the quality on these is just second to none. And again, very, very similar. This one inside has the silver rings this time instead of the gold. But again, this one just has a back pocket as well instead of the zip. I'm just trying to show you because all my challenges are there. But I absolutely love these. And I was finding it really hard to source really nice, good quality binders here in the UK. So I am so chuffed with those. So I'd love to know if that's something you'd like me to look at stocking in my Etsy shop, if that's something you're interested in. If it is, let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, we're gonna jump in to the cash condensing. 
well, I feel like I had a lot to talk about today, but we're gonna start off with the cash condensing. Normally I would do this at the end of the month, but I have a cash stuff in that I need to do and I don't have any fivers because I just took the money out of the bank. So I figured it makes sense to do it now. So I'm just gonna go through and condense where we can. So five, 10, 15, 20, perfect. Let's condense those into a 20. And the, the cash point did give me some nice 20s actually. So I was quite happy about that. And then let's have a look. Pet care, I've got 10 in there. So let's pop a 10 in. And there won't be too much to do, hopefully. I don't think there's anything else in there. But I wanted to actually talk to you guys as well. It's just reminded me going through that. So I actually did a quote the other day for my car insurance. And my car insurance is expensive anyways. Just recently, I well, a couple of years ago, I got some points on my license, which I know isn't the best. And when I got those points on my license, it upped my insurance quite a bit. And then I had a crash on the ice. And again, it wasn't my fault, but again, did impact me a little bit. And what I've basically found is my insurance has gone up quite drastically over the past year or two. But when I was um, going through my car insurance quote, I normally pay an, uh, monthly. So I went through my car insurance quote, like popped it all on as you do. And then I thought I'd check the annual option. Guys, it was, well, just under 800 pounds. It's like 780 pounds cheaper for me to pay for my car insurance annually over doing it monthly. I mean, I actually couldn't believe, like I remember years ago when I used to look at stuff like that. I mean, it was nowhere near that sort of difference. I, I just couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. I was so, so shocked that it was that different. It outstanded me. But what do you guys think about insurance? Like, do you pay for your insurance at the moment? Do you pay for it in one go or do you pay monthly? But I just, I really couldn't believe how different that was. Um, so let's have a look. That one's already condensed. Could potentially condense those coins. I don't know whether we're gonna need those or not though. I don't think we have anything else in there. Can you hear my spray as well? It keeps going off. Sorry if it's annoying anybody. Um, again, I don't necessarily think the five pound challenge is obviously staying as it is. There's nothing to condense in that one. I didn't necessarily think there would be much to do in the condensing, but I did want to just condense stuff down just in case. There's nothing in that one. And we might be able to condense. Um, what's in this one? No, nope, can't condense that one. And I've actually managed to, you'll probably see my binders aren't looking as full. I've now got two saving challenges binders and I've separated them out a bit more, which is definitely working better. And after I got hammered on all of my scratch off challenges, I think this is gonna be a lot better. So, What's in this one? We've got back to school. Oh, there we go. And pop a 10 in back to school. Oh, wrong one. And then, I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah, I think that's all of our condensing done. So guys, that was a very short but sweet cash condensing alongside obviously our new binders, our new challenges and our new savings challenges. Oh, I'm just so happy of everything that's arrived. But yeah, that is everything from me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Stay tuned because there will be a bonus cash stuffing coming shortly after this video alongside my regular cash stuffing and so much more. So if you enjoy that type of content, please do click subscribe. Please do give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you all for another video very soon. Bye guys.